What's up, everybody? Check this shit out. A group of researchers say they've identified at least seven stars that might be surrounded by super advanced alien megastructures known as Dyson Spheres. That's right, a Dyson Sphere. But what the fuck is a Dyson Sphere anyway, and why is its possible discovery causing such a hoopla? Well, that's the intriguing part, because a Dyson Sphere is a theoretical technology first proposed in the 1960s by this guy, Freeman Dyson, a physicist who claimed that a superior intelligent life, if they existed, would most likely construct a megastructure around their home star in order to harness its energy, and if such a structure did exist, we could easily spot it with our infrared telescopes due to the insane amount of energy this big bastard would be emitting. And shockingly, that's exactly what this image is showing, and even more shockingly, it ain't the only one, because just seven years prior to this shitball's crazy discovery, this gal, astronomer Tabitha Boyajan, discovered this star, aka Tabby Star, doing the exact same thing, consistently dimming in and out of view of our telescopes day in and day out for the last eight f***ing years, and not a single person can explain why, because the dimming of the light is far too great and frequent to be a planet, which also rules out the possibility it's a young star with material still forming around it. A planetary collision would have been over by now, and as for the whole galaxy in the far off background making it hard to disambiguate between the two, no it's not. So even though it's scientists discovering this shit and bringing it to our attention, why are they so goddamn hesitant to concede the fact that this is most likely a Dyson Sphere? Well, therein lies the rub, because although scientists agree there is most likely some other form of intelligent life out there, possibly even more advanced than our own, the likelihood of even just a single one of them reaching this level of advanced technology is super f***ing unlikely. And believe it or not, their reasoning is surprisingly simple yet annoyingly rational. Let me explain. Right around the time that Freeman Dyson was talking about his super advanced sphere, this guy, Russian physicist Nikolai Kardashev, was talking about the type of alien civilization that could actually build such a thing, introducing what is now known as the Kardashev scale, which is a universal classification scale ranking three types of advanced civilizations based upon their ability to harness energy. And it just might be the most simplistic yet effective way to illustrate how incredibly unlikely it is for any intelligent civilization to reach such an advanced level of technology. Starting with our first civilization, Type 1, which can harness the energy of an entire planet, capable of controlling everything from the weather to natural disasters. Next we have Type 2. These motherfuckers have the ability to harness the energy of an entire star, capable of colonizing every planet in their solar system. Think Federation from Star Trek. Then there's Type 3. Now these bad mamma jammas are on a whole other level, capable of harnessing the energy of an entire shit ass galaxy and traversing its incredible vastness with relative ease. Basically the Empire from Star Star Wars. Now, here's the part that's really gonna make you think. Our civilization, human beings, we're not even a type 1, but rather, we're a type 0. And, I mean... <laughs> How much longer do you think we really have? My point. The chances of us or any advanced civilization surviving long enough to reach the level of even a type 1 civilization, let alone a type 2, again, is super f***ing unlikely. That being said, it's definitely not impossible, especially when you consider the fact that our galaxy alone has something like 400 billion stars, probably triple that in planets, 40 billion of which are Earth-like, and, well, I mean, what else could this possibly be? Seriously, think about it for a second. The star is literally dimming in and out because something bigger than it is passing in front. What the f*** out there is bigger than a star? Exactly. So really, even though it is completely shitballs crazy, the only logical explanation for this would have to be a megastructure constructed by a Type 2 or even a Type 3 civilization. But hey, that's just my opinion. That could be wrong. I've been wrong before. What do you think?